Hey guys, so it's Keita from Keita Vet. This is just going to be like a brief explanation of piriformis syndrome and what happened to me. So I've been in martial arts and MMA competing for a very, very, very long time. And what happened for me was um, I went through last year, a year of moving lots of like, we literally moved three times at a whole house. So it was from one apartment to another house, to another house. To another, oh, actually, it was four times we moved in a year. Uh, very stressful. I had a loss of a dog that I've had for 18 years. So emotionally, I had some, like, you know, some side. It was just very, very crazy because my husband had just finished his second master's, and he was now applying for PhD. So it was just a lot of emotions were going on, which I think can kind of feed into any kind of an injury. And then it was just physical stress of having to pick up and move things. And as you know, anytime you do flexion with rotation in a spine, uh, it's not good. And I have a really beat up spine. I've been in horseback riding accident where I fractured TPs, transverse process, in the cervical, the lumbar, I've had made, I've just had major, major, major issues uh, with my hips, my low back, the lumbar area, and my cervical spine. So, um, and I do what's called functional orthopedic rehabilitation. So like what I do for a living is get people out of pain. So I was really losing a lot of uh, self-esteem and actual uh, confidence in myself because I just could not get out of this injury. It was just literally the most painful thing that I've ever gone through. And I've gone through broken backs, broken necks, you know, I mean, you name it. And my body has uh, experienced it. Skiing accident, but I've had uh, bikes run over me. I mean, I've just, I've literally lacerated lungs, you know. Uh, I, I've lived through so much, right? So... What was really, really hard for me is I was not able to get through this injury. And then I moved here to Tucson while my husband was getting his PhD, and I applied for several jobs, and um, I got them. But then I, I was like, I don't even know how I can teach this class because I, <laughs> this is so, so hard, but like I was having a hard time walking. And I thought, how can I teach a class if I can't even walk? And then I just lost a lot of confidence in just my, uh, my physical appearance. I have gained probably literally between I would say 60 and 100 pounds and, and that, again that's just been that's been collectively over the year but when I haven't been able to move it's like I've been consuming the same amount of calories and probably even worse calories like junk calories because um, I just haven't I, ha I haven't even had the energy to be able to get into a car and get out of a car and go grocery shopping anytime I went into any kind of a store I would need a cart to hold on to because I couldn't even walk it was that painful and it was just something like really uh, trying and kind of a little bit sad and embarrassing and I really didn't share a lot of it with my husband because he's got his own things right now with like PhD and I just want him to do really well but it's been something that's been like really really hard on me it's um, I mean this is uh, probably TMI but for women out there it's just something that I think we should talk about it's so painful that I haven't even wanted to like have sex because to open my legs, this is, I'm just giving you just this physical and biomechanic, it's just hard, it's like so painful. Anything where I would go into external rotation of the hips was really painful. So walking, moving, sitting exacerbated it. If I lay down for too long, that exacerbated. There was like nothing, I, there was nothing I could do to get out of it. So anyway, um, long story short, over Christmas I went and saw a doctor, my mother-in-law set me up with a foot doctor because the pain was getting so bad in my feet because uh, my hips were so out of alignment that my, 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 uh, I had literal uh, bone spurs in my calcaneus and both in, in my heel, all over my feet. So the pain was getting so bad just because I was so out of alignment that my feet were bad. I literally thought you guys had like MS or something. Like um, what happens when your sciatic nerve gets shut off, it will literally, it kind of emulates uh, par uh, paralysis because it'll weaken that muscle because if you contract that muscle, your body starts don't contract it because it's gonna be in pain. So, you guys, I have my little, I have my pink in my hair. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so I went to the foot doctor, and he was basically telling me, I'll give you a shot of cortisone, you need to be in a boot, and you need to have uh, your feet immobilized by tennis shoes. Well, that worked. It did help. But then my husband, when he was going to go do uh, massage on my feet, like, I sprung out of the bed again. I still had the same pain. So I'm like, you know what? It, it's got to be something you know, and thank goodness, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that he has given me the ability to just kind of, I don't know, just every time in my mind, I've always said I've always overcome all these, like, major injuries where they say I would never walk again, so I'm like, I've got to be able to figure this injury out, so anyway, uh, Christmas came home, we did all that, it, it got a little bit better, but it was still, still, still painful, 
So when I went home for spring break, uh, being on a PhD site, and you have a lot of money, so I went on Groupon, and I was like, you know what, I'm just, what I need is I need to find someone that can do an x-ray on my back, and I didn't, I didn't honestly care where I went, if it was an orthopedic, if it was a chiropractor, who it was. I just wanted to see my spine and see the alignment because I knew once I could like see that, I would be able to almost like self-diagnose myself. So I went to an amazing doctor, amazing, amazing Dr. Tony Hall. He's in, he's with Lucadia Chiropractic in San Diego. He was, there are just no words to, to describe how amazing he was. He sat down with me and for 45 minutes, like really listened to my story. And um, uh, just we went we went through everything, and I, I literally because I have a pretty sound knowledge of biomechanics, physiology, motor neuron sequencing, motor and patterning, all that stuff. Um, I pretty much I kind of was self diagnosing myself, but I told him I have no X rays, I have no idea, you know what this is going to look like. But I was telling him I was uh, having peripheral pain in the anterior tib, tib area, peripheral pain in the adductor, so adductor longus, adductor, adductor brevis, and the gracilis area, like just radiating pain. So anyway, we did, after we did that whole talk, it was amazing. Then we went and did x-rays. And what was so cool is he did four, I think like three or four different x-rays. And I was literally able to see uh, on my right side, it was like just sucked up the uh, greater trochanter, the acetabulin. I mean, it was like bone on bone. So that told me, uh, I know that that has not been something that has occurred before. So in my philosophy, I knew it was... Uh, I was seeing him for chiropractic, but I also just know, and, and, and that's very beneficial, but I know within myself that if I, that there has to be a reason that that's being sucked up because I know my body. So I'm thinking there's a muscle, there's something that's pulling that joint up, right? And of course, obviously my spine is misaligned and, and I need to have all that, but, and that's his expertise. That's not my expertise, but my expertise is just understanding biomechanics, understanding muscle uh, insertion origin and peripheral nerve pain. So anyway, uh, he was then able to do, did some uh, physio work on me, and uh, I now realize that he was doing some uh, piriformis and adductor, uh, kind of like a PNF pattern, proprio neural facilitation pattern. Anyway, um, he then did a couple adjustments on me, and I felt better. Um, but I couldn't see him again because I had to come back here because my husband's getting a PhD, and we, we, spring break was over, right? So I could only see him one time. And I was so frustrated. Uh, but anyway, that night, after he'd done the adjustments, and this is not on him, uh, this is just what I was dealing with every night. I went right back into that same, same, same uh, perineal pain. Um, and then I started thinking, okay, that's the, that's the anterior tip, but it's also uh, the uh, perineal. Okay, but I also realized that was the uh, perineal, peroneal area, however you want to pronounce it, right? And so then I said, well, I wonder what nerve innervates that. And then I was like, okay, that's the femoral nerve. And the femoral nerve uh, then goes into uh, it, the piriformis area. And then the sciatica, the uh, piriformis is a two-bellied muscle, and the sciatica, you guys, passes right through the belly, right? So the piriformis is like this, and it goes right through the belly. So if you have a tight piriformis, which goes from the greater trochanter to, uh, your, to your sickle area, like it's right there on your whole glute area. It's like this really, like this thin sheet of little muscle right here. And if it's in spasm, it'll press down on that sciatic nerve and kind of, especially if there's any twisting in there. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just instinctively, intuitively knew at that moment, and this has been an injury that I've had for, uh, gosh, now two years. So it's had two years of being, uh, having the blood supply cut off, being like jacked in that area. So it's like, but this huge light bulb went off. And it, again, you have to remember, like I'm lying in bed. It's like, I think it was like three or four in the morning because like literally this pain was so bad. I couldn't even sleep at night. And I had ice bags on my low back, radiating to my inner thigh, all the way down to my leg. And so I'm just like, again, this is pain just I've, I've had for a long time. So I'm just, I, I literally, it's like my blankie. I go to bed every night with bags of ice. So anyway, immediately what I did is I went into some uh, peroneal stretches. I went into uh, straight leg eversion. Uh, 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 straight legged uh, pronation and neutral. I just did some stretches for the peroneal, that perineal area. However, you want to just. Uh, uh. Then I did some stretches for the adductor. I went into some traction. I went to the side of the bed and I just let my leg go into traction. Um, and uh, I just did uh, glute, some glute stretches and uh, just really trying to figure out how can I get into that piriformis area and stretch it. So I just did some stretches. Like literally, you guys, I'm not even kidding you. Within two minutes of doing that, pain shut off. No pain. And I was literally like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
I was like, literally, like, it was now at this point after I had done all the searching, I was doing searching uh, for 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 a little bit. It was like 6:37 in the morning, and we had to then drive back to to uh, Tucson, and that's like a it's like a seven hour drive, seven eight hour drive, and. Literally, you guys, every time I'd have to drive, I literally would have to, I'm not even kidding, like 20 Advil and go into just such pain. I had to, like, get myself psyched up for the drive. We have two dogs, so we can't fly. Anyway, you guys, I learned, I went into, I got on the internet, just looked at some videos, and then I was just, I went back to just uh, different uh, neural anatomy, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to apply. It's called flossing, the flossing technique. So not only did I do stretching, but I did integrated flossing, and I'll go into that in all my in all my videos. So literally the pain went away. And you guys, I drove seven hours home in a seated position, which is the worst position if you have any kind of hip issue. Literally, we stopped three or four times, and every time we stopped, you guys, I did my stretching, I did my flossing, and you look like a fool, right? But you're rest up, you're not gonna see these people again. Um, but I went inside and, uh, in one place, a confining place, I went to the bathroom and sat down because you have to kind of sit down on a seat and do full range of So I'm in the bathroom doing <laughs> these flossing exercises. Um, and I'll probably do a video just on that. So for people that travel a lot can, can, can learn that. Let me know, like, and subscribe below if that's something that you guys want to do. You, you guys, please subscribe to this channel because this is what allows me to keep doing this channel and keep doing these videos. So, uh, uh, please do that. And also, uh, repost this video onto anybody you know that has a uh, hip or back pain. Okay. So anyway, I'm now back in Tucson. It is so disgusting and embarrassing and humbling, but I am going to be starting these videos and I'm just going to be, what I'm going to do is wear black shorts, uh, black little top. I'm going to wear this the whole six week process so you can kind of see my body change and, uh, you know, my hip change. I, I know this is what's wrong with me and um, any of you sitting out there that have been in pain, um, like I've been in, there's nothing worse than just knowing your body's getting worse and worse every day. And there's nothing you can do about it. And the thing of it is, this is what I do for a living, is functional orthopedic rehabilitation. And I was telling my mother-in-law, I was like, it's so amazing, God always gives me an injury. Like, I'm blessed, I'm so blessed for the injuries that I've had. Because if it wasn't for the injuries, I wouldn't figure out how to get out of them. So I'm, I'm a proficient in lumbar dysfunction. I'm proficient in sacral L5. Uh, I'm proficient in uh, uh, cervical dysfunction. And proficient in literally biomechanic assessment. Like if I see someone walk up to me, I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like I go from their toes to their nose. And you know, if they're you know externally rotated here, internally rotated here, short and tight on this side, long and weak on this side, it's like, you know, that's my jam. And it's not even me. It's a gift that's greater than me. And I give all all of my credit to my heavenly, beautiful Father, uh, God, and 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 Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Because if it wasn't for those two things, that's what fulfills me. And um, it's funny because I prayed about it before I went on this last trip. I just prayed. I was crying with my husband and I finally broke down and was really honest with him and told him what was going on. I just, I, he had no idea that I had been in that much pain because I was just trying to hide it because I needed him to be focusing on, on what he was doing. And uh, it's just tough when you're on a stipend. There's no extra money to, to go for healthcare or anything. So it's like, it's just been something I've been kind of like gutting out. Um, but I know that this is, this is my, I know this is, this is what's wrong. And I'm literally, I cannot even tell you guys, I am thrilled to pieces. I'm going to be doing a six week, uh, starting today. I, um, I'm going to film segments into each one of these. So there'll be short little segments for you to do. Start doing the exercises. I'm going to be doing these every week. Um, so in seven days, we're going to check back and every week, uh, by the way, be doing these exercises every single day, but I'm only going to check with back with you guys weekly. And this will be a six week program and this is free. And this is something I hope goes around the world and helps anybody that's been in an accident, blunt trauma. Um, I've been in so many horseback riding accidents where I've fallen right on that hip. Uh, I've had uh, massage therapy work that's been so severe that after they've done, after they've done working on it, it's triggered so many trigger points in there. I haven't been able to walk. So I think it's kind of a conglomeration. On, on, on a lot of different things. So anyway, you guys, I love you. And I hope this was good information. I just wanted to walk you guys through because it's literally, uh, this has just been one of the most humbling, painful experiences. I've broken my neck, my back. I mean, I've literally gone through it and nothing has been as painful as this injury. So piriformis syndrome, look it up, look up the anatomical positioning of the piriformis, uh, start doing assessments. You can do assessments by just starting in these exercises. This is level one stuff because that's where I am. If you see my body, 
again, you'll see I'm like a level one and I used to be like a national competing, you know, athlete. I used to be like out there doing my jam, right? So I am like literally, I don't even look like the same person, but that's why I'm humbling myself. I'm going to do these videos because I really want you guys to see where I am and to get out of this injury. We're going to get out of it together. And I'm, I'm literally so excited. I'm so excited to see what your progress is. Also tag me, uh, come to my Facebook, uh, just look below. I've got all my stuff there, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, blah, 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 all of it. Okay. You guys, I love you. Stand in your light. Stand in your truth, and above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys so much, and my message to you is you can do it. We're going to get you out of this injury, and you're going to be back into being an athlete again. That's my promise. Okay, love you guys. Bye.